So for fun, I'm out here in Florida. I have access to this beautiful outdoor shower. This is temperature controlled, so it gets nice and cold. And I thought, what a perfect time to run a 30 day experiment. I'm gonna take a cold shower for 30 days and see if I get the above benefit. So cold showers have been shown to give more endorphins, which are like the happiness hormone. So this is gonna help you feel less stress, feel more alertness, get a shock to the system. It's also been shown to reduce inflammation, just like icing a muscle would, to give a little bit more energy, to help with healing, just to do a ton of things. So I'm gonna test this out, we're gonna jump in there. The way we're gonna do this every day for 30 days, I'm gonna be in here for at least two minutes, I got my timer ready to go, and then we're gonna report as we go along how I feel. Let's jump in. So, we got my timer for two minutes, we're gonna hop in here. I've taken these off and on before. See, we got hot and cold, so this bad boy is fully temperature controlled. But yeah, I've done it off and on, but I haven't done it consistently. And the big thing with habits is you can't just do something once and expect it to make a world of difference. If I go in the gym, hit some curls, and I'm not absolutely jacked, that's not representative of being on a good routine. So I'm really curious to see how this goes after 30 days. But I'm gonna stop putting off getting in this cold shower. Let's jump in. So we got our two minute timer. Got it right up here. May have started a little bit early, so we'll go a few seconds extra. Let's get it. I do do Wim Hof, so being an ice bath, I've done all that good stuff. I really like to focus on deep breathing. I've also read a little bit, there's quite a few studies that if you're able to do quick math in your mind, nine plus three, three plus 12, any weird number, it can help you really make effective decisions. Whew, sorry, it's really chilly. Make really effective decisions when you're under stress. So this is something I'm gonna be doing as well to see if I can get more of a mental benefit. It's gonna toughen me up. You know, there's a lot of talk too about how climatizing to tougher conditions, being better at being in uncomfortable situations. It's just gonna work a mental muscle. I've done them here and there, like I said, but I'm really curious to see how this stacks. And I hope this timer goes nice and quick. We'll see if I can get better at handling this as we advance, because this is nice and chilly. It's in cryotherapy and everything, but. Nice and chilly, that's nice. <laughs> Whew, this is definitely no joke. Three, two, one. That's one down. I'm feeling pretty good after that. I'm definitely feeling nice and charged up. I just find that shock. You instantly feel happier after being in something cold because you're just happy to not be cold. But that's day one down. I'll see you for day two. All right, day number two, two minutes on the timer. Let's do this. All the way cold. I sure hope this gets easier. Day four. Day five here, one of the amazing benefits listed is to really boost your immune system and limit how you get sick. I've been known to get sick from time to time, but I woke up this morning with a ton of congestion while well, all night pretty much. You can probably see how poofy my face is compared to the earlier videos. However, you can't just blame something and say, oh, it doesn't work. It's only been five days. And I'm really excited to see the continued effects. I've also been training really hard out here, so I'm mixing in quite a lot of things, but just an interesting observation as we continue on into day five. Let's go. Kyle just made a good point. He's saying, maybe I'll feel better after my cold shower. I'm very curious to see. So right now it's all above the head. It's just congestion, but I have my energy, which I'm super pumped on. But here we go. Cold shower with the cold. Hey. No excuses. Woo. A little bit easier today because I was laying out in the sun. Whew. Definitely feel like I settle in a little bit quicker, but definitely gets a bit of shock going. See how we feel after the two minutes. So after that two minutes, I feel really good, really refreshed. So a definitely good benefit there. <laughs> All right, day 23, let's get it. Another day, another cold shower. Woo! It's definitely getting a little easier. Just finished uh, 10 minutes of uh, skipping hit. So I'm actually looking forward to this one today. Refreshing. It's easy when your body's super high. Whew. You don't gotta film a full shower, man. Oh, okay. 
All right, 30 days cold showering done. Before this, I would do cold showers here and there, but I was someone who didn't want to do it because I enjoyed my warm shower. I saw that as my time, but now I've really realized that this is an opportunity to get over that flinch I keep talking about, to do something hard, to embrace the cold, to get your body to adapt. And as you heard with me doing math early in the videos while I'm doing the cold shower to help myself in those high adrenaline moments, but every day to say I'm gonna do something hard, inject a little bit of challenge in my life, simulate a challenge, because at the end of the day, it's not gonna hurt me, it's not bad, has been really beneficial and I felt really good the clarity I get from it and what's amazing after 30 days I kind of dislike warm showers they feel weird to me now I've been doing this so long like I don't really know what to do there so it's been so easy for me to put on the cold to not second guess it to jump in there to embrace it I'll even like actually sew myself down do my hair everything cold and I have enjoyed that challenge and if you consider if I continue this which I will for the rest of my life it's not just gonna be 30 days of benefit but this is gonna be benefit every single day for the rest of my life well I never have a hot shower again definitely not I'm sure I'll have one but I am definitely gonna make sure to keep this routine because I've really enjoyed it it's been absolutely fantastic and I'd highly recommend you experiment experiment with it yourself it's easy to say I didn't like it I did it once or twice commit to trying it for 30 days you'll see some great changes in your life I've been able to do a lot of self-improvement a lot of self-growth and I think it's all fed each other but cold showers have been a pillar of that every single day and it's something I've enjoyed doing so I highly recommend going out giving it a shot if you like this video you like this experiment make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel i'm not sure when we're uploading each video but we also are doing a 30-day push-up challenge and a 30-day journaling challenge so there's great content to be had here lots of amazing stuff and if you want to learn how to level up your fitness your health and your happiness go ahead and check out our fitness podcast the first link down below thanks for tuning in have a good one peace out